Hello friends, welcome to Study Viral channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Red Hat 8 on VirtualBox. First of all, you need to download VirtualBox, that is latest version 6.0 from virtualbox.org website. And like I am already installed it on my system. And second, you need to download Red Hat Setup, which is also freely available. First, first of all, you need to register on developers.redhat.com website so that you can easily download it. That is free of cost because it's an open source. Like I am going to register it on the Red Hat website, like by using my selected username, for example, Study Viral, and my email. And Joe, probably if you are a student, you can put a student account according to that. Like my email. After that, job role is like you can select anyone if you are some kind of uh, job person who is doing job somewhere. Like I am selecting student and choose my password. And uh, we need to password must be lowercase, uppercase letters, number and symbol should be there. And we need to check the I agree and click on creating account. After creating an account, the Red Hat website will send you a ver verification email. Like I am going to refresh my account. Okay, reload it again. There will be one email from Red Hat. Okay, that's it. Now reply your type email. Now click on the link so verify your email on Red Hat account. I'm going this email is valid only for 10 days. So right click on new tab and waiting for response. Okay, that's it. Now I am already logged into my account. We are verifying this email. Okay, click on Linux tab from here and Linux for developer. Click on download button. Now I have to download Intel ISO. There is more download option, but latest version is 8.1 beta. But you just go for default like download Intel ISO. After clicking, first time when you click on that ISO, uh, Red Hat need more information from you. So just fill those information. So company name like student or if you are working somewhere, you can put your company location and other things. For this, I am just filling it by my own by pausing the video. And when you click on the submit button, then you will come to here thanks for downloading after filling that form and I already downloaded it so I am just going to uh, pause it but just trying to use that 6.6 dB then click on save button but I already downloaded it so I am just pause this download or cancel it so now we have to go to our computer like where it is click on downloads now there is my setup rhel where it is okay this is rhel 8.0 x 6 64 dvd iso so i already downloaded it now for next just minimize everything now this is my virtual box and click on new name give, just provide the name of the machine RHL2 and I have now I select the folder location where I put my machine file so I go to desktop not on desktop go to e drive and I have a folder study viral VM virtual machine create a folder RHL2 and click select folder Okay, there is a location for it. 
uh, it's Linux and Red Hat 64 automatic pick by that or virtual box click on next I'm going to increase RAM from 1 GB to 2 GB that is 2048 2048 and click on next create a virtual machine hard drive now and BDI version for virtual box I have to allocate dynamic allocation with 12 GB dynamic means when it need it just grow according to size of the operating system and click on settings go to display uh, journal uh, there is ok system ok just remove the floppy drive and optical disk should be first bootable device and for here pointing device we need to put usb tablet that is better option optical is first bootable device we will be, we will change it when the system need reboot and uh, network is keep on net for the initial stage so that it can communicate with internet or other actual system now in storage device choose the optical disk like uh, we have read head 8 setup iso and open it click on ok and just start the machine it will take some time ok that's it now we have three options and we have to going to select first option but let me adjust the screen size first just hold on not here in view okay just increase 100 to 125 i don't think so no view and go to adjustable not again Again, view and go to not there. just hold on for a second. Mm -hmm. I think scaled mode is better. Just click on it, switch. Okay, yeah, okay, that's it. That is good view. Okay, now we need to select the first option install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0. It will take some time for lo loading the booting files. Okay, that's it. Loading all files, start the switching route. Okay, you can see in bottom at the green line where it is written Anaconda. Basically, Anaconda is a free and open source system installer for Linux distribution, and Anaconda is used by Red Hat Linux, Oracle Linux, and other version of Linux like Fedora which basically helps to load files and anaconda offer also text view mode or gui mode okay now we have to select enterprise linux edition language so we definitely go with english and it's of the united state and click on continue Okay, I am not able to click. Let me try again. Click on continue. Okay, now it's working. Okay, next screen installation summary where you have to select a few options like this, uh, go for it. installation location, like installation destination. So we need to select our 12 GB hard drive virtual hard disk and 
right set automatically additional set is um, you can put i would like to make but no need now so just click on done it will be checking the store okay automatically partition selecting select installation stores that will be okay okay software selection so there are many options server minimum workstation custom operating system and on the right hand side for windows file server debugging tool file and other mail server remote virtual tool and dotnet core and many things but we just go with default settings like server with graphical user interface and click on done okay it will be checking it okay good now on network and host there is an ethernet port which is by default of virtual machine okay we can change host name like you can put your own name or someone else name like for me i am putting my channel name like study viral dot in and apply Okay. you can go for configuration changes so click on configuration but I am keeping it as default and just enabling ethernet if it is connected and done oh, and security policies you can go but I am not making any changes or something just keep going with default and date and time by default there is region america city new york you can put anything this is default so i'm not going to change it there are many countries specific regions you can select according to you so i'm keep it default and done now i'm going to begin installation meantime installation we can put create our root password like root Password is root, small letters, and one, two, three. For my case, you can put your own default, but keep remember that password so that it is easy to log in as a root root user from default user. And click on done. In user creation, I'm making simple full name like user one. And password, I'm going to display it for now. It is user oh sorry user user one two three just like root one two three and okay same so click on done user is created now it will take some time according to your laptop processor it will take some time there are near about 1200 or 1300 plus files which need to install so just keep on going installation keep the installation process keep going and it will take little more time so I'm just keep the recording as on like keep on silent
okay now installation is going to complete in a short while after installation or after installing all the file and configuration files linux machine need to be reboot and for rebooting we need to change the booting sequence of this virtual machine from optical disk is like first one so we need to replace it with or change the sequence with hard disk now it's it will show you a reboot button at the right, bottom right of the screen so just i'm waiting for the button stop generating files just it is going to complete in a short while i think running post installation script okay complete that's good now you can see the reboot button at the bottom right so we need to just reboot it and okay now here is reboot button and we going to click on it okay it will okay now it's just rebooting and i'm going to hold it the installation and just power offing power of the machine click on it and power of the machine from you can just from here or you can go to your virtual box ma manager and go to close and power off one and the same thing okay now i am going to change the booting sequence click on setting of that particular machine storage now storage its system just make the hard disk and the top and optical disk and the second click ok now start the machine again ok switch click on switch button cross this ok now it's rebooting and there are two options like we have to select first red hat linux enterprise linux first option will be good and it is going to start our linux first time okay it will take little time sometime when we are going to run our operating system first time for the loading and settings black screen is now when it's when we saw the login screen there is only one user right now but we can switch user later so here is the first screen in initial setup like license agreement you can read all the statement or anything from here and I'm just going to I accept the license agreement and click on done. There is a subscription manager, but our system is currently not registered, so I keep this thing is for later process if required. Click on done and finish the configuration because this video is only for educational purpose, not for any commercial use. start user manager with user id 42 and session c1 of user okay now this is user 1 so click on user 1 and put its password like user 1 2 3 this is user no lock may be off 1 2 3 and enter And in this user screen, sorry for delay. And in this, okay. Now you can see the eight symbol at the center of the screen. Now in activity, there are a few menus like Firefox, File Manager, 
terminal etc so this is the way how to install but before that there is a welcome screen or welcome message we can use our language in all other settings if required and click i will go with default english setting and privacy location you can keep on and off and i am keeping it on and next you can also connect with other your accounts but skip it and start the red hat linux enterprise there is an help page getting started that you can watch these videos from online and get in more information about linux and for this video that's it i'm just power off this machine and keep watching and please subscribe my channel for further information and updates goodbye have a good day